Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Mason Struck of Chessening Football as well as Chessening uh, Boys Basketball. How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, it has been quite the year for you. Um, just, um, you know, joining, you know, joining football just last year as a junior. And then, you know, after the great basketball season you had, and then, you know, just um, then senior season uh, for football, going, doing the things, winning the league, first playoff appearance since, uh, since 2007, you know, getting the first playoff win and, you know, playing a really good Bullet Creek team that just, uh, and just, uh, that just beat Claire last week. So what's that, uh, what's that going to be like going into uh, a pretty big game uh, and another home playoff game for Chesney? Honestly, it's huge. Like we're all super excited to be hosting Matt, only our first playoff game last week, but hosting our second playoff game. Um, haven't just hasn't made the playoffs in a lot of years, so I'm happy to be a part of this team that has had the chance to make history again. So, what is it just the just like this experience for you? Because you know, it's uh, you haven't played until last year, you hadn't played football in a while, so. You know, what has it been these just these past few years getting, you know, getting back into it and, you know, doing all the things that, you know, that you used to do when you were younger? Honestly, it's been awesome. I've been really happy to be able to play football again. And uh, I'm, I'll always be blessed that Coach Walters and the rest of the coaching staff talked me into getting back into playing football last year. Let's go. Uh, let's. Let's go back to that convert. What was it like? Just uh, when were you? Uh, what was it like? What were you doing? Like when Coach Walter first approached you about this? So <clears throat> it's kind of a funny story because this is how I always remember it. Like I, for some reason, I remember that exact moment. And there was multiple instances, I guess, where coaches approached me and tried getting me to play football. But let's see. I think it was week two. It was. The day before we played New Lothrop last year, um, I'm in the, our weight room right after school, and me and Coach Weigel, who's our basketball coach, we're getting a workout and stuff. I was like on the Vernon Max, they get us some jumping leg workout. And uh, right before football practice started, the coaches were coming through the weight room, and or the football coach, that is. And well, Coach Walters came up. And it was telling me, like, hey, you'd be a really good tight end for us. Like, you got the height and the speed and stuff. So I made me think about it at night and made the decision. Yeah. So, like, what has it been like just to, you know, just to just to kind of be – how have you kind of just gotten used to, you know, being a tight end, like catching passes and, you know, blocking itself? And what, what, what has that just been like for you? Um – it's definitely been a grind trying to catch up to the skill level that everybody else is at. But um, with the help of the coaches and my players and like the support, it's definitely been huge. Like they really helped me get my skill like up to where it should be to be able to compete in these games. Um, you know, just a lot of the guys that you know are, you know, this is a you know, a lot of kids are, you know, there's only, there's not a lot of you on there. I think only like, you know, 22, 23 guys, um, yeah. but yeah, obviously Chesney's pretty small, but what, what's it just like to just get, you know, having the bond with those 20, 21 other, 21 or 22 other guys. What, what, what's that honestly, like getting used to each other? Honestly, it's great. Like all those players, are, they're my family. Um, it's, it's, it's better than just football. It's like, part of a culture like we all love each other we always back each other up like support each other and we win and we lose as a team yeah um so really just you know after after the um you know after the bath loss and obviously that that week that game had a lot of circumstances with it especially with mm -hmm. you know weather and you know who knows how that game could have gone but really um you know what was and then really that the week after that getting the win against Lothrop at Lothrop. What was that? What was that like for you? Because, um, you know, a lot of times this season, um, uh, people just outside of, uh, outside of the locker room and really, and I can say this outside of the town, 
a lot of people uh, had um, you guys win in that game or yeah. win this season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So after that first tough loss, uh, math, that really made us all hungry. That week at practice was a grind. Like, we're going at each other. We're just all – everybody was playing 110% effort, conditioning a lot and stuff because we knew that we got that win. We could totally change how our season started and get it back on track. Yeah. So what has it been like just um... – you know, just getting comfortable in the, in the offense. What, what is, what's that been? Cause I know that's, uh, you know, you got Cal you got, you know, with and Cal and just, um, just how comfortable you've gotten with Max and just, and then everyone else on your line and how have you kind of fit into the offense? Um, so just getting reps in practice and stuff, me and Max will stay after and do some like one-on-ones with, I'll, I'll go up against Alec Fowler because he's a really good corner. Yeah. And I'm guarding me and stuff. We'll just go back and forth. And it's always a fun time. We build the connection. And that translates into the games on Friday. Yeah. What What is the relationship been like with, uh, you know, with you and Max? Um, we've, we've known each other forever and so um, just – We've been, we play basketball together, um, football, just, and I don't know. Yeah. Yep. Um, so hosting the second playoff game against Midland Bullock Creek, obviously, you know, pretty good team. I know. Um, and then they just beat a really, really good Claire team um, last week. So what's that going to be like um, as they, uh, as the, what do you have to do to advance to, uh, you know, the regional and get a, get a, di- and get a district title? We need a really good week of practice because, like you said, that Black Creek team is good. We need to, we're actually meeting up to watch the film in a minute here, but we're going to study on this stuff, get a good week of practice. And we're, on Friday night, when the lights turn on, we're going all all out. We're not letting our season end this Friday. Knock on wood. Absolutely. Um, okay, so how do you, like, mentally get ready for a game? Um. Listen to some music, close my eyes. Oh, a nap. I always take a nap before any game I ever play, whether it's football, basketball, any of that, just to get right. Um, just, yeah, focus hard on what's about to be happening. Uh, what's, uh, what's on Mason's playlist? I don't know. I got a lot of it. Definitely be listening to some Gunna, uh, Metro, a little bit of Lil Baby. Oh no, it's a lot. Yeah. Um uh let's let's get to know you a little bit, Mason. How about that? Yes, sir. Okay. Um this can be either sport, um, but best uh best football or uh okay, I'll give you two ones. Best football memory that you've had, and then best basketball memory that you've had throughout your high school career. Um for football memory, I would definitely say just going up against Alec Fowler and one-on-ones after practices. That's always a great time messing with them because talk a lot of crap back and forth. Um, and basketball, there's, there's too many great memories. Honestly, when I was a freshman, I was playing on varsity. And that was, actually, the, that was the COVID year, I think. Yep, yep, it was, it was. But ironically, some of my best moments there were just like, Hanging out with the team, especially the seniors that year, were awesome. Um, those will always be my brothers. But Alec Fowler's older brother, Nick Fowler, I mean, him and Sam Franziski, those two were seniors when I was a freshman on basketball. They just took me under their wing and helped me get to where I am today just by uh, player everything, that, practice and stuff. Yeah. Player that you looked up to growing up? Hmm. I definitely have to say Jaron Jackson Jr. Yeah. For the Memphis Grizzlies. I love that guy. Played for Michigan State. I love Michigan State. So always cheered for him, looked up to him, wanted to be like him because he's a really good player. Um, let's see. Um, what is um what's your all time favorite movie? Oh, that is a good question. Um, 
Hmm. Honestly, I don't even know. I would probably say Space Jam movies are pretty good. I just like all sports movies, basically. Or it's like Marvel movies, you know, just like the main ones. All right. Um, and finally, what is uh what's an like what's like an interesting fact about you? Hmm. Like what's like something uh something people would never guess about you? Uh I like both football and basketball pretty equally, but you already kinda you already kinda called me out here, but a lot of people never guess that I just started playing basketball or football last year. Yeah. Um, so. Absolutely. All right. Mason, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. And uh we'll talk to you soon, okay? Yes, sir. Thanks for having me.